Tesla's Model 3 and Model Y use 2170 battery cells made by Panasonic. Now there is an eight year warranty and there's also a, a promise by Tesla that those battery cells will retain at least 70% of their capacity at the end of that eight years. If they don't, and if there's a battery failure, Tesla will now apparently replace those battery packs with newer lithium ion phosphate batteries, which will give your car, Tesla says, more range. In addition to that, this report is saying Tesla will actually replace the springs and dampers in your vehicle at the same time. And this is why they'll do that. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. A lot of people have been saying, you know what, if I wanted to upgrade my Tesla battery pack in the future at some point in time, I've seen this comment many times on the Tesla Mileage Facebook group. That's where people post stuff like, you know, I've done 500,000 miles in my Tesla, changed nothing. Rah, rah, rah. People say this kind of thing all the time. It's quite remarkable, actually. But people do pose these kinds of questions. Can I change my NCA chemistry battery or my 2170 battery cell pack with a new lithium ion phosphate battery. Well, Tesla has apparently revealed that they will do this for you for no charge if there's a fault with your battery within the warranty period. Tesla is offering lithium ion phosphate battery pack retrofits for 2170 equipped Tesla Model 3s, possibly Tesla Model Ys in the future, if they need a battery replacement, if there's something that goes wrong with that original battery. This would lead me to think, right? If Tesla are offering this as a possible replacement, if something goes wrong with the battery, well, why not sell it, right? Why not sell this as a service? I think this will happen eventually. Worth keeping this in mind. It could mean that some much, much older electric cars could easily get a much more affordable lithium ion phosphate battery replacement. In 2020, Tesla started using lithium ion phosphate battery cells made by CATL in the base variant of the Made in China Model 3. Well, they now use batteries made by both BYD and CATL in standard range Tesla Model Ys and standard range Tesla Model 3s. These battery packs are really, really good because you can charge them to 100%. You don't have to worry about charging to only 80%. You can every day charge them to 100% and they'll get more than twice as many life cycle charges meaning your battery is going to way outlast the, the life of your car. I mean, unless you want to keep the car for an eternity. We're looking at battery packs here that are going to last you probably a million kilometers, possibly even more than that in most cases. The Model 3 rear-wheel drive now has LFP batteries, but Tesla is saying if you've got an older Model 3, we'll replace a faulty battery pack with an LFP pack if you want it. And why wouldn't you? Because Tesla is saying you've got to get more range. So everyone says, oh, LFP batteries don't have enough energy density. Well, Tesla are saying, actually, no, that's not true. Because in this case, you, your car will get more range. And you have the other advantages of LFP cells. Lithium ion batteries are, well, there's two real main types here. There is lithium ion phosphate, and then you've got ternary batteries. That's what the Chinese call them, lithium ternary or LFP. Now, ternary batteries is actually a few different types of ternary batteries. You've got nickel, cobalt, aluminium. Of course, it's a lithium-based battery. You've got nickel, manganese, and cobalt, which is an NMC battery, but both of them basically are ternary batteries. LFP cells, so lithium ion phosphate cells, are cheaper to produce and they have many advantages in terms of safety and durability. It's extremely rare to hear of a lithium ion phosphate battery powered EV having a fire problem. You probably heard about BYD's plugging, or BYD having so-called electric car fires in China, which they did. A lot of BYD fans don't like when I say this, but it is true, they definitely had a lot of them, but it wasn't their lithium ion phosphate batteries. It was their plug-in hybrids, which were utilizing ternary batteries. NCA and NCM, so ternary battery cells, have high energy density. Well, it was believed that their energy density was high, which it used to be in the past. Not always the case anymore, though. But they're used in performance EVs. However, they do have lower durability, and they're not as stable as LFP, and you're not meant to charge them above 80% on a daily basis unless you need to for doing a road trip or something like that. Now, Tesla uses all three types of batteries in its EVs. 
At the moment, the most popular car in the world, the Tesla Model Y, the best-selling car last year, the standard range uses LFP, the standard range Model 3 uses LFP. It means that I believe now about 70% of Tesla's cars worldwide use LFP batteries and if you notice that Tesla almost never needs to do battery recalls very rarely has battery problems and this is the reason using LFP batteries since Tesla started sales of the Model 3 in 2017 there have been cars that have required battery replacements but those batteries back then were 2170 cells now Tesla offers an eight-year warranty and they've originally replaced 2170 cell packs with similar batteries made by Panasonic. But now Tesla are gonna replace them with LFP batteries, which will be a benefit for Tesla, having less warranty issues, a lot less of them, and also it's gonna be a benefit for the owner of the, the car. On Twitter or X, a guy called Warren has revealed that Tesla Model 3 owners, basically Tesla is saying, you've got to sign a written agreement before Tesla will install this LFP pack. The document mentions the advantages and disadvantages of having an LFP battery instead of an NCA battery. And based on this document that this guy called Warren has shared, the new lithium ion phosphate battery pack has a longer service life, should give you twice as many charges. Um, that's a big advantage. Tesla did promise the new pack has more range than the previous NCA chemistry battery. Another advantage is, what I said before, you can charge it to 100% on a daily basis. You know, that's a good thing. There is one real, I guess, negative. This new battery pack is heavier. So the performance is slower. The zero to 60 miles an hour acceleration time actually goes down by half a second because the battery pack is heavier. You're gonna feel that weight a little bit possibly. It's not a huge difference though. Now this will affect the vehicle's dynamics. So Tesla is saying what they will do is Upgrade the vehicle with new springs and dampers and a four-wheel alignment as part of the deal. You don't pay for any of this. You get a new LFP battery. You get new springs, new dampers, a four-wheel alignment. Wow. I mean, I'd be driving around in my Model 3 with 2170 cells just praying to, I don't know, whatever God you believe in or just praying that my battery has a problem so I can get this new battery back. It'd be, it'd be absolutely fantastic. I mean, what a brilliant idea. It's cheaper for Tesla, right? The LFP sells. It's better for the customer. You're getting a better you're getting a better product that's going to last longer. This is just a fantastic idea. Now, I'm hoping Tesla will offer this as a possible upgrade to people who own older vehicles, you know, vehicles that are say 10, 15 years old, uh, maybe even, you know, Tesla Model S's from back in 2010, 2011, 2012. This would be really cool or even as some sort of kit a kit to you know, possibly convert an internal combustion engine vehicle into one with these batteries. Guys, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.